Hey, good uh, Wednesday morning, everyone. Wanted to give you a quick uh, video cast update on the blog. Um, I'm not going to be able to do any video cast updates for about the next seven to ten days. I'm actually going to be gone starting really now. I have to go to Chicago and um, up there there's a uh, clinic that I always go to for my migraines and then every now and then I have to stay in the hospital as uh, part of my treatment. So I don't really know how long I'm going to be there. Assuming seven, nine, maybe ten days or so. But I'm going to be working a lot. So it actually, because I get bored, there's nothing to do when I do that. Except binge on Netflix. So yeah, if you guys have any ideas on binging Netflix videos or shows probably be asking that but so i'll be working a lot on here i just can't do any videos so i wanted to cover a little storm system moving through for us today uh, it's actually going to give us a little bit of light snow as we work through the afternoon hours on wednesday and we haven't had really any snow so far this season hopefully this holds together and we get to see a little bit of light snow as we work through the afternoon into the evening hours. So let me show you what I'm looking at. This is one of our models. Uh, it's actually a NAM model. It's not a bad model. One model I kind of like. But it, it shows this is actually through the overnight hours. In the blues where you can see snow. And it looks like it's actually snowing quite a bit through Missouri and also Kansas. And southeastern Kansas, southwestern parts of Missouri. But none of this is reaching the ground. And the way I can see this is if I look at total accumulated precip, nothing. I got a little blob just southwest of Wichita, and that's really just about it. So if I go back to here, I know all this is evaporating before it hits the ground. So let's go all the way to about the noon hour, and you can see the blues are getting a little deeper. Now let's go back down here and see total accumulated precip. You can see it's sneaking up through parts of Oklahoma, and then now a little finger all the way down, pushing in southeastern Kansas. So I know the four state area here, that's where the moisture is just now probably thinking about, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to decide to hit the ground at this point in time. So as we work through the afternoon hours, now we're starting to get a pretty good band of light snow uh, for 5 o'clock. That continues into the evening hours. This is about 6 o'clock. 7, 8, 9, 10, most of the snow now, south central Missouri, northwestern parts of Arkansas, 11, midnight, 1, 2, and then it's all gone, and then mainly rain. So how much snow is there actually going to be? Not much. So I think really from Topeka, Emporia, southeastern Kansas, northeastern Oklahoma, northwest Arkansas, and southwestern Missouri, about an inch or less. That's the way it's looking right now. Less than an inch. Maybe some areas an inch of snow. But something we're going to watch throughout the daytime hours today. Not a lot of snow. Shouldn't cause a lot of troubles. Just something to keep our eyes on. So what's going to happen down the road over the next um, oh several days? We just haven't had really any big storm systems rolling through. So if we look at this weak little storm, it's this little guy, this little inflamed guy, uh, right in here. Now watch as he passes. We don't have anything really coming down the loop until right about here. And this is north of us. And this is on Saturday night and into Sunday. So until then, we don't really have anything that affects us. So let's go past that. Another little guy. This is... Tuesday, Tuesday morning, and again, it's north of us. So when's our next little storm system? Nothing, 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 until maybe here. So this is the weekend of the 17th. That means for almost 12 days, not too much action. We have a lot of cold fronts, so our temperatures go up, they go down, they go up, they go down, but that's really about it, just not a lot of big systems. Um... So, it just doesn't look like we're going to have any big, deep systems that really track out across the southwest, and that's what we need to get a big winter storm. 
And of course, make sure you check below. I have my long range forecast. I am going to tweak it a little bit um, with a couple storm systems that I want to watch over the next four or five weeks. So I am going to tweak it just a bit when I get to Chicago and I have a lot of downtime. But make sure you check it below and I'm going to give you updates over the next several days so we can talk about what's going to happen toward Christmas and then also into January. For now, have a great Wednesday. I'll be chatting with you soon.